Trey. Lo, what's the good? What up, my boy? What's the word, my G? How are you? It's, be it's been a minute, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Can't complain. How are you? It's, it's good to see you, man. It's good to see you. It's been a long you time, too, yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, listen, man, appreciate you jumping on the platform. Appreciate you taking the time out of your Thursday evening to join me in this combo. <laughs> I know you're a busy man. You know? thanks, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Sure. Ab absolutely, man. I was telling the people, you know, uh, we got history, man. We, we, we go back when I used to rhyme under VS, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. way back, man. So we've been I, doing this for a long time, man. We've been doing very, this for a long time. Very long time. Very long time, man. But you stuck with it. You know, you, you, you were more focused with it than I was. Now I'm going on this route. But that's what I want to chop it up about. I want, to, I want people to get familiar with you. Mm -hmm. I want people to get familiar with your history. But also I want to get people familiar with what you got going on now. Because you're still right. very active in the rap scene. Yes, sir. You know? yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Um, so let's let, let's do this first. Um, for those who are not familiar with you, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Just tell people a little bit about yourself, and then we can get it started, yo. Uh, well, um, my name is Dre Robinson, um, hip hop MC out of Boston, Mass, Dorchester to be exact, Dorchester, Massachusetts, because we gotta, you know, represent yes. the Mass. You know what I'm saying? And I've been doing this music thing for for a long time, as Lo said. I'm not gonna go into a specific. <laughs> like time frame or, or amount of time, but I've been doing it for a long time. Um, I was signed with an independent um, label that had major distribution through Universal. Um, I'm with um, Polymore Music. I was with Mass Appeal. I'm with Polymore Music. That's my management. And um, yeah, we I put out a, a gang of mix CDs. You can find those mix CDs on um, Dat Piff, um, Starving Series with um, J, um, DJ um, with um, Jay Saki. And I had a few other mixtapes um, hosted by um, DJ Khaled, DJ K Slade, DJ We're going to talk about that. Yes, um, yes, yes. G-Spin from 94.5 was my a and when I was signed with the independent label. So he got me some features. Mob Deep, um, Ryan Toby, um, Jay Mills, Remy Ma. So Every, I've, I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been. Extensive. I've, I've been, yeah, the, the, yeah Ex the catalog is crazy. The catalog it's, is definitely it's, crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. now, um, kind of describe some of your early influences to to hip hop. Like, what really got you sparked into the into rap and hip hop early on? I would I would say um, Nas, Ghostface, Nas and Ghostface was kind of the who was two playing main, who, main but who was line. playing that stuff for you though as a kid? Um, the older heads of my in my hood. Yeah, you know, older heads of my hood was putting me on to to Nas and Ghost, and you know, then came Jay and Big and Pac, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and, and yeah. Mob, and so listening to those like really got me like you know, and I, I kind of started doing my own little writing and trying to just like you know, you know, ex explore with it and see you know, right? If I if I was good at it, yeah. Right. And were you like just writing like, I don't like how, you know what I mean? Like for me, I like. It, it, I, I didn't know how to write in bars. So I was just okay. pulling up a, a page with rhymes. You know what I'm saying? There was no right, format just going. to it. Like it was, you're just writing no hooks, no format, no nothing. So I literally was just writing. I, I'd have a beat or sometimes no beat and you're just writing. You know what I'm saying? You're just right. putting stuff down, jotting stuff down on a um, piece of paper. And then when I really got into it, I I um, put the paper, the um, pen and the pad down, and I just started kind of just writing in my head, memorizing mm -hmm. the rhymes, and mm -hmm. I feel like for that it just gave me a better delivery. Absolutely, man. Now you hinted, you you, you said uh, uh, one of the big features was Mob Deep. I wanted to talk about that. I believe it was yeah, oh four. Am I wrong? Yeah, probably oh, about oh four, oh five. Oh, right. Okay. So you yeah. had this huge feature with with Mob Deep. Yeah. Um, do you feel like that record was the one that kind of propelled you a little bit? Yes, absolutely. Um, okay. Because I had the original um, version out with um, JV, the rap singer. Yes. He's on the hook. So it's um, Mob Deep, Get Right featuring Mob Deep and JV, the rap singer. So um, the original was out and, you know, was getting burned here in the mass on the um, 94.5, the Hot 9.7. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it was getting, it was, it had traction and um, G-Spin, you know, from being at, up at 94.5, he had a lot of relationships with different artists. So 
um, the mob came through and he um, played the stuff and, you know, just happened to work out a situation where they jumped on the record. And once they jumped on it and did the feature, we um, serviced the record um, to all to um, power ra radio station across the country. And they picked the record up and it started getting like six to 700 um, spins a week on power wow. radio station um, nationwide. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you were making a, a nice little run with that record. Yeah, I remember that, yeah, it. I remember that it. record was yeah, and yeah. It, it, it got placed in a couple of um, movies and stuff like that as well. Oh, word. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's mm -hmm. dope. Listen, um, talking about Mass, you know, because you're from Mass, we're from Mass. Um, who would you say are your 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 top five MCs out of Massachusetts right now? Um, right now as we speak, or just kind of um, overall? Well, let's, let's, yeah, let's go overall. Let's go overall. Um, top five MCs overall, Mass. Out of Mass, out of Mass. Um, I would definitely go with my brother, Easy Money. One of the, one of the illest, one of my Easy favorite. Easy is definitely yeah. one of the illest overall. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm I'm a hard I'm harsh when it comes to lyrics, man. So, so like, <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 say this respectively then. Anybody who's being yeah, there, res respectively. yeah, respectively, <laughs> um, I would definitely go with Easy Money. Frankie Rain Wainwright was definitely one of the top guys. Um, I would say um, Term gets busy. Mm hmm. Um. Hmm. Who else? How, how That's many? That's three. That? That's, That's three. three. You had you had you had Frank. You had Easy Term. You need two more. Um, and we're we're solely talking lyr lyric lyricists. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. We're we'll going bar for bar. Yeah, we're going we'll go bar for bar. Oh man, who else? A, I'm not there's gonna a... say anybody out of my camp because the cats in my camp, <laughs> Jacob family, they go hard. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm for sure, absolutely. Them, them, they Jacob family go hard, but um. <laughs> Who else? Um, oh man, I got to give credit to um, Edo. Absolutely, Abs definitely. Edo's definitely in there. He paved Edo's the way. Definitely in there. Yep, and um, Millie's and Millie's. Yeah, he's yeah. making a lot of traction right now. Yeah, Millie's, I've, and I've seen Millie's come from. Just starting to where he's at now, he's stuck with the grind, and yeah. he's doing the damn thing. But he's always been nice, and he's elevated his his skill set and his rhyme ability over the years. You know what I'm saying? So most definitely, definitely. most yep. definitely. definitely. Now, mm -hmm. staying in that same category, what would you say is um, one of the biggest challenges for artists coming out of New England? Uh, um, support, I would say. Support mm. from the from the town, support yeah. from the town. So that so that's why you see a lot of people going outside of Mass, mm -hmm. um, going outside of Mass to kind of get on, and then they come back and, you know it's what true. I'm saying? It's true. Uh, why so why like, why why do you think that is though? Why do you think there's a lack of support? You know, in such a small Massachusetts is not big, man. You know, everybody it, kind of knows everybody. Crazy. But like, yeah, it, it's crazy because I th feel like Massachusetts is set up for artists to win because we have all the colleges, and you know what I'm saying. Crazy. It's a lot of, it's a it's a lot of um, it's a lot right. of opportunities here, and there's a lot right. of money in Mass. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot. It's right. it's, it's, it's the Commonwealth. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if we kind of if if we kind of focused on those things and tapping into those markets artists can definitely be successful here but i feel like a lot of times artists excuse me artists are so focused on outside of that world and they're not getting the support outside of that world when you have all these colleges all these kids that listen to music like if you kind of tap into that market you can win and and kind of create your own niche and 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 it can grow from that but when you kind of step outside of that and you're just trying to do the regular circus, like the shows and this and that, and you, a lot of a lot of cats don't feel like they're getting supported because everybody is an artist and everybody is 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 rapping and everybody's clicked up and camped up and 
everybody feels like their man is the nicest and he's the one that should go. And, you know, I feel like that that's a thing that does and nobody wants to support each other as artists because they want to be that guy. You know what I'm mm. saying? So I feel like that that kind of hampers it and uh, a lot in all I, actuality. It, yeah, I agree with you. And it, and it, it is not only just a New England thing. I think it's just an ego thing. A lot yeah. of rappers have these yeah. egos it's when, a, yeah, it's listen, ego thing. drop the ego, man, and, and support each other. Because you're right. The Massachusetts specifically, you hit it right on the nail. The amount of colleges and the college radio circuit that you can get in tap with. Yeah, I mean, you, it's, it's, a, it's insane, bro. Crazy. It's insane. It's crazy, insane. You man. can really become a huge artist by focusing on, on that. You know what I'm saying? That's a great point, man. Absolutely. Let's talk about... Um, Swaying back to your to your career, you know, you had a a, a huge run with the mixtape circuit, and mm -hmm. I feel like there was a point where I didn't really see you too much making music. You kind of took this a little hiatus, yeah. But then yeah. you came back with the with the with the Fifty for Friday. Yes. yes. Tell me, so what what happened between those points? Like, you know what I mean? So what what happened was, um, you know, I was signed with the independent label, and um, my album didn't come out. Um, right around that time, I had um, the studio album was finished, and um, DJ Khaled hosted um, my mixtape, um, yes. Blow, Introduction of Boston Dre. The story of Boston and, uh, Dre. Yeah, Crazy. and it didn't get pushed, so I kind of had a, the, the label kind of stopped pushing me as an artist and kind of really? fell back, so I wasn't getting the support from the label. So it kind of like just threw me into this like this downward spiral of of like trying to figure it out. You know, I still have my support from Joe Politics at Polymore, but the label I'm in a contract and the label's not really pushing the artist. So your your hands are kind of tied because you 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 you're binded to this contract. And so, and, and, and part of me for cutting you off, I feel like mm -hmm. and in the back of your mind you thought, wow. Even though Khaled wasn't what he is now, but he was still a big DJ. No, nah, he, so he was a he big, was a big DJ. Right, right, right. Ross, Ross busting off, and he reached out to G-Spin, like, yo, who's this kid Dre Robinson? Because, you know, I was getting the spins, and he's like, mm -hmm. who's this kid Dre? And G, G was like, you know, that's um, A&R for Dre. Boom, boom, boom. He's like, well, let me host a, um, let me host right. a CD so Miami can get familiar with him. You know right. what I'm saying? right. It was so, a dope mixtape too. You had Anne Marie yeah, the on it. Mixtape, Anne Marie, it, like Anne Marie, yep. It just it it didn't get pushed the way it was okay. supposed to get pushed. You know what I'm saying? So, just being an artist in a in a in a situation signed to a label, you put you put this project. I put that mix CD together in two weeks. Wow. Sent it to Khaled. He did what he had to do. Sent it back. It was ready to go. And um, the label just didn't push it. I guess they they felt like, you know, I don't know if, if they exhausted X, Y, Z and didn't want to take it to another level. But I feel like I, that that point was kind of like make or break right there. And it, it broke. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it kind of you you get into a, a, a mental space of where you don't know what's going on with your career. What's going on? You You got real life going on. So you have to go and figure out real life and take care of your life and you know, yeah. you got to be able to support yourself. So that's Absolutely. what I was focused on because I was solely focused on music. I like I'm out of here. Like music is going to take care of me and, and my family. And and then yeah. now the reality sets in where the label's not supporting what you're doing anymore. Like, so you got to right. go deal with real life. And then that's kind of where I just just got kind of jaded by music. I didn't even, I didn't even want to listen to music. I didn't watch award shows i ain't do none of that yeah. shit i ain't want to yeah. see it you know what i'm saying so i just kind of fell back from music but you know after a while me and joe politics just felt like we had unfinished business and we have some things we have to to do and it's like now coming back on the scene it's not just about me being an artist it's about me curating things and and helping other artists the, mm -hmm. the newer artists come up and help them to get to a point where I may not necessarily be able to get to or you know what I'm saying like I see potential in them and push them further because of the knowledge and the experience that we have right as you know as be being in the game for how long we've been in the game 
But right. at the end of the day, to, to be able to do that, you still have to, you have to brand yourself. And that's where, you know, the pandemic hit right around the time when we decided to like get back into the music, the pandemic hit. So while we were inside, Joe, Joey and uh, my partner, Shao, that I write with, basically said, um, let's um, do this thing on Fridays, um, do 50 for Friday, do call it 50 for Friday, do like 50 bars, just go on, off the of instrumentals. Because right. if, if you go back to the mixtape, you'll see that's my element. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. I just go. So it's like they're like mm-hmm. basically just take it back to the essence of this shit, Dre. It's an even playing field now. <laughs> Nobody's outside. There's no shows. Right. Do what you do. So I just started picking classic hip hop beats and um, doing 50 bars every Friday. I did it for um, 20 weeks straight and then um, opened up the platform to other artists to get on the 50 for Friday and, you know, record it. Just make sure your um, your, your background is good, good video quality. Um, right. We can hear it. Right. Send it to me, Joe Politics. Shout out to Jeff two times. They, they've they been supporting the hell out of it. Like, and we'll post it. And, and a lot of artists have been stepping up and doing their thing. And that the 50 for Friday kind of just took on a life of its own. Yeah, no, it definitely had it. It grew a lot of traction. Um, it definitely shows your, your caliber. You know, f- spitting 50 solid bars is not yeah. an easy thing. And to do it week after yeah. week. Yeah, I mean, week come after on, week. Man. And it's like you have to, like, search for inspiration. Like, okay, right. I just did 50 bars last week. Right. You think about it, like, week 10, you're like, damn, I'm at 500 bars. <laughs> That's, you know what I'm when you saying? think about it, man. That's yeah, not yeah. Week easy. ten, you're like, I'm at 500 bars in the last ten weeks. Every Friday, consistently, not missing a beat. Every Friday, and you gotta, you gotta search. You gotta kind of just dig deep and find that shit, and and just do right. what you do. You know, what right, I mean? it, right. And it, it's not an easy task, right? But you know, you and, it, and, it can and, be done. And to put it in perspective for those who are listening and might not know. Uh, a typical song might have two verses, which two consists verses, of 16, 16 bars. bars a piece, right, so, so that's 32, 32 bars. bars. Yeah, so right. I'm basically giving you a song and a half every Friday for 20 weeks straight. Come on, come on. In all on. actuality, when you do the math. We Let's do a go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Listen, man, that's crazy. Right. I respect it. Right. Now, right. Let's, uh, uh, on a real serious note, did jerk chicken have a big influence on the single jerk? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. First of all, I'm Jamaican. Let's put it I know, so I know, man. Me, jerk chicken is always inspirational <laughs> on this side. You know what I'm saying? But um, no, what's crazy about jerk is um, it was just a, a beat that was sent to me in a beat pack by um, Bassman Foster. Um, you know, he's from here, but he's a part of um, her, the artist her. Oh, yeah. He's the bassman on in her band. And, oh, um, wow. You know, he's real tight with Joey. And, um, you know, he was a part of um, Elevation Theory, Amandi's um, band as well. Mm-hmm. So um, um, Keith then sent over some, some tracks, and I, I was listening to the joint. And I'm like, yo, this is just different. It just have has a different hop. And this is after I finished my um six song EP, King's Crescendo. Um, not sorry, Golden in My State that I released um last August. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not this August, but um last year in August. And um right after we dropped Golden in My State, I'm I'm just I'm writing and um I I got that beat and I just started right into the beat and it like just. The, the, the song just happened and I called Joey. I'm like, yo, listen to this shit. Tell me what you think. He's like, we got to go in the studio and record that shit now. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it, it, was, it was just a hop. It was a vibe. It was like, it's not something like that you would expect for me to do. Right. And it just, it just came out that way. Cause the beat just kind of told me what to do. And I just went with it mm-hmm. and it just came out that way. And I, and I shot out, shot out my guys that supported me. Team Jerk. That's kind of what what created that hook. You know, okay. Jax, two yeah. times, ill meal. You hear that all in the hook. Team Jerk. Like, and and that's kind of what you know. I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna call the record Jerk. Fuck it. You know what Yo, I'm saying? And, <laughs> and we just rocked with it. And and Jerk is doing this thing where almost uh, two hundred thousand streams wow. on um the um DSPs right now. So 
Jerk is doing his thing. We got the video out. You could go yes. and um, go to YouTube and, and check out the um, yes. Jerk video. So it's definitely yes. doing his thing. And that Jerk is um, the first single off my next project, King's Crescendo, that we're, was, we're, we're, we're wrapping up right now. That was, what it, that was my next question because you got the new album coming out, like you just yes. said, King's Crescendo. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but the, 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 the literal definition of Crescendo is an increase in loudness or intensity. Yeah, it's the rise. How does, right, now how does that relate to the title? So basically, King's Crescendo is basically the rise of Dre Robinson. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm fitting the crown on my head and I'm just going to own my shit. Let's and you're go. Watch the rise. Let's you know go. What I'm and this is the crescendo. You're watching the crescendo. We have the mm. prelude to the, um, to the um, album. And then you're gonna watch the rise. So it, this is this is like um, it's like a symphony, an orchestra. We're putting it together. You yes, know what I'm saying? yes. And you're gonna watch it. And, and what can we? What, can, what we're doing. What can we expect? Is there any um, notable producers? Any notable features? Um, you know, what, what can we expect on this album? Um, well, I have my guy Amandi is on the album. Amazing. Um, Cyrus, Cyrus is on the album. Um, I got 8-Zip on the album. Young 8-Zip from Boston is on the project. Um, I have my brother Shao is on the album. Um, I have Keith and um, produced Bassman Foster, International Show. And there's a few other producers on there. So and this, is, this is like a lot of homegrown, you know, shout out to uh, Mark Marin. Motivate Marin is in the building. Um, um, one Salute. of uh, Mark's, what actually the record with Amandi on it, I got from Mark and his crew, from Mark Merrin's okay. camp. So that's on the album. Um, shout out to Pro Black in the building as well. So, Pro Blacks, he's he's yes. been on the Low Theory. Salute, brother. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, Aleko, it's, salute. It's, A lot of people it's, it's tapping be, in to support oh, shout out you, bro. To, oh, shout out to Aleko, man, Brand Nation. That's my guy. Aleko, Aleko used to get me drip for my shows from what <laughs> the original Lace, like the you know, original. If people know 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 the history of Lace, Aleko Brand Nation is the original Lace. So right, absolutely. Yeah, we 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 go we go that far back. No, fact. absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of heavy hitters in here right now supporting the movement. I mean, you know, like we've mentioned earlier in the talk, you know, you've been at this for a lot of years. You've been putting in your work. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to hear the new album, King's Crescendo, because I feel like, you know, honestly speaking and just just hearing you, I can tell this is going to be the one, man. This is, you've this learned is the a lot body of life. work that I've yeah. been... This is this is the body of work that I've been wanting to put together, and we 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 took our time. We didn't rush it. I was free to create how I wanted to create. I didn't have anybody telling me what I needed to do. I'm just expressing myself freely, and I think people are going to be able to enjoy it. We have the um the new the the latest single off of it is called On Everything. Okay. And um, it's dark. It's gritty. It's it's um gonna be available on all streaming platforms on November nineteenth. So okay. you you're gonna be able to go stream on everything. It's the it's the second single. So you had Jerk, which was the first single on everything, is kind of like the street single we're releasing mm. that. It's loaded, it's ready to go, it'll be available for streaming on November nineteenth, which is the day of the show that I have at the Hard Rock Cafe where um, Mark, Ma, um, Mark Merrin, and um, Shea, he, he's bringing Shay Noir from Buffalo. Yep. He's headlining, and I'm um, one dope. of the opening acts on the, um, on the roster. So we're, gonna, we're li lining it up. So Ma, you, you're going to be able to stream okay. that on November okay. 19th. And I'm okay, also performing so, that joint. So we got Jerk right now, November no, 19th. That, on Everything is not the record with 8-Zip. 8-Zip, you're not going to hear that record until the album drops. <laughs> people, people, they're already <laughs> leaking. Right. We're not going to leak that. We're not going to Baby leak steps. That. That, record, that record is called Collins Ave. The record with 8 Zip is called Collins Ave. You're not going to hear that till the album drops. Word. Word. But listen, uh, November 19th, make mm -hmm. sure you guys are uh, tapped into Dre Robinson's account so you can go ahead and stream that new single on everything, like Nelly. On everything. 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 Yeah, <laughs> on everything. Um, Listen, man, that's about it, man. I feel like yes. um, we, we, we touched a lot of things. I'm excited for you, bro. Uh, you know, I'm supporting everything that you're doing. 
Um, where, where can people find you? Where can, you know, people follow you? Go ahead and plug whatever you got to plug. Well, you can, um, you know, follow me here on um, Instagram, Dre the God, Dre the underscore God. And, um, you know, you can find me on my, um, my website is um, Dre Robinson um, online, Dre Robinson online dot net mm-hmm. if i'm not mistaken joey go ahead and pin the um, website i always get that shit confused <laughs> um and um you can find my music on all streaming platforms i mean apple spotify right. um soundcloud all streaming platforms if you go to um youtube and you want to check for um all all the videos i've i've put out they're on youtube just go in and put in um dre robinson everything will pop up so you can you can find me everywhere. You you can just Google it into the pop up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's real easy. It's real easy. easy. Now w- easy. W- one, one more one more thing. Somebody asked, uh, what's what's the best uh, uh Jamaican restaurant in Boston? <sighs> Dre's <laughs> Kitchen. My house. <laughs> you be chefing it up? I, I get you busy. be chefing it up? You get I, busy? I, I get busy, busy. Okay, you know okay, I'm, okay. But okay. if I was supposed to send if I was to send somebody to a Jamaican restaurant in Boston, I would yeah. tell them to either go to um only one or flames, honestly. Okay. Yeah, only okay. one or flames. But I, I where, where, I, I where they at? Busy. Dorchester? Um yeah, where only one is in Dorchester and um High Park and Flames is in um Flames is in Dorchester. Flames is over there by Brigham's. Flames is in um, Brockton. Flames is in Rhode Island. Flames is everywhere. You word, know what I'm word, saying? Word, word, so word. you can you can you can go get that. Word. Flames. Oh, listen, a, send me a, a plate. Send spot me a in plate. Brockton as well. I forget the um I forget the name of the spot in um Brockton, but there's a nice Jamaican food restaurant in Brockton as well. Definitely. Okay. Word. Word. Listen. Yep. Salute to everybody who tapped in. Dre, yes. thank you for joining me on the platform, Appreciate bro. you. Thank you for having me, low man. Appreciate Ab- it, brother. Absolutely. And when the project drops, yeah. I'm back on the low theory, and I got some heat. Let's go. All I'm right. ready. Say I'm that. ready. You're going to give right. me some bars? I'm going to give you some bars. Once the project drops, I'm back on here, and it's going down. All, All right, right, brother. Be good, man. Good talking to you. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, brother. Peace, bro. Peace.